Hey guys, David from Off-Road Animal. I've got an exciting build for you today. This Jeep Grand Cherokee 2013 Overland 5.7 Hemi is getting the works. So Off-Road Animal's got some cool products that are going on. First of all, we got a front bumper that sits in front of the bumper, nice and streamlined. Nudge bar, hidden winch, then we got some rock sliders, a roof rack, a rear bar, bash plates, everything's going on this bad boy. It's gonna look sick. We've also got some third party accessories going on, a worn winch, a snorkel, LED lights, UHF radio, wheels and tires to give it a nice look, and finally an exhaust to give that V8 a nice growl so it sounds great off-road and on-road. I can't wait, let's get going. All right, first off, to put on the off-road animal bumper, we need to take off the factory rear bumper and split it from this lower section here, and then the factory rear bumper goes back on. We'll also be putting a tow bar on because they use the same bolts. So here's one for you guys who like taking your Grand Cherokees off-road. The off-road animal rear bumper really does protect the back of your Grand Cherokee. You probably find that your factory rear bumper in your Grand Cherokee can act like a bit of a scoop. That factory bumper is quite prone to getting ripped off in the sand and the mud and damaging your vehicle. Where here, you got the opposite, it protects your vehicle. The off-road animal bumper here protects you in a few ways. Number one, it's sitting up higher, so it's a lot less likely to act as a scoop and get pulled off or damaged when you go on off-road. As well as working with the factory parking sensors, it wraps around the side of the vehicle to protect the sides if you're sliding off embankments, ruts, in the mud, whatnot. Now a few features about this bar that are awesome. Number one, 20 millimeter tow points here. Great for pulling backwards, if people behind you didn't quite make it, or getting yourself out. As well as high lift jack points so you can lift yourself up and do whatever you need to do with the high lift jack. Now it also works with the factory rear tow hitch on the US version as well as Australian version. Works seamlessly with the factory rear parking sensor so you don't have to worry about that as well. Also works with a couple of aftermarket long range tanks. Now there's one tow bar it doesn't work with. It does not work with the Australian Heyman Reese tow bar. Don't know about the US one, but you might as well stick with the factory one there. Now that rounds out this bumper bar here. Great for protecting your Grand Cherokee for those who like to off-road. And honestly, I think it looks pretty cool too. So if you got one of these vehicles, you know they're a good looking car, but we're gonna make them look even better. We've got accessories put on here that is gonna enhance its off-road ability and its looks. A bash plane underneath to protect the sump and the front cross member. Then we're gonna put on a hidden winch mount. Now the hidden winch mount maintains the good looks of the vehicle, but allows you to recover yourself when you're off-road. Toe points to do the same thing, as well as pull others out if we need to. Then we have an off-road protection bumper that's gonna go on over the top of this bumper, replacing this lower fascia here to protect us from small animals and off-road nasties. Finally finishing off with a nudge bar that's gonna take some lights for us and give us a little bit more extra protection.
This is Off-Road Animals modular front setup for your WK2 Grand Cherokee. Now we're going to go through the features and benefits of each of these items that can be run as you can see here all together or separately. First of all we're going to start with the aluminium bash plate. Five millimeter thick protects your sump as well as your radiator. It's got a cool access panel on there for easy servicing with four quick removing screws. Moving up to the off-road protection bumper. This off-road protection bumper here replaces your factory air dam that just unclips. You're supposed to take that off anyway when you go off-road, where this one replaces it and actually protects some key components that you really don't want to get hurt and damaged when you go off-road. First of all, if your car is equipped with ACC or adaptive cruise control radar, it's got a nice guard that protects it. If you don't have the adaptive cruise control, there is a plate there that finishes it off anyway. Now, on the left-hand side of the vehicle, you have your washer reservoir, which is very vulnerable. So the off-road protection bumper also protects that. And on the other side, if your vehicle is equipped with air suspension, it protects your compressor. Now, it wraps around the front of the vehicle to protect it from off-road nasties, rocks, even small animals, embankments, trees, roots, whatnot. So it's really gonna protect the front end of your vehicle from a lot of constructs. It's not a bull bar, it's a bumper. It sits nice and tight to the vehicle and looks awesome. Now that brings me to the hidden winch mount. The hidden winch mount fits nice and neatly behind the factory bumper bar and allows you to run a winch. Behind this number plate flip, you'll see the fair lead with the rope coming out. Behind there is a worn 10,000 pound winch, a Tabor with synthetic rope. Now this winch is great for self-recovery and it's completely hidden behind the factory bumper. Now a cool thing about our off-road protection bumper, it's got an access port here that allows your hand to go through and reach the clutch lever and allow you to free spool the winch out. You can still use the power of the winch out if you want, but it's a really cool feature being able to access a hidden winch's free spool. Now we have some red toe points here. These are rated toe points and the off-road protection bumper is actually mounted onto those toe points or you can run those toe points completely separate all by themselves. Now the nudge bar is a great piece of equipment for mounting accessories like the super bright steady light bar we have in there or the GME antenna. It's a two and a half inch nudge bar and you can just simply put some clamps on there and mount a lot of accessories. Now it's also great for pushing away small brush and whatnot so it does still protect the front of your radiator and the front of the vehicle. Also cool thing is this nudge bar works with your factory sensors. So if your car is fitted with parking sensors, you don't have to worry about the nudge bar setting them off. That pretty much rounds out the front of our WK2 with off-road animal products, which gives you a nice aggressive yet sleek look on your vehicle, nice and close to the car, but you still get that protection and ability to self-recover. No better, no better feeling than I get. Now we've fitted my most favorite accessory to this Grand Cherokee, the off-road animal rock sliders. They look amazing. Not only do they look amazing, but they work really well. I highly recommend you put rock sliders on your vehicle if you're going off-road. 100% necessary if you ask me. Their purpose is to protect the vehicle when you're going off-road, and these cool ones here do that superbly. Not only do they protect the vehicle, this version acts as a great step for accessing the roof rack or even getting in and out of the vehicle. With this cool tread plate on here, which feels nice to touch, it's not gonna hurt your bare feet, but also allows you not to slip off. Unlike tread plate, when it gets wet, gets slippery, this doesn't. Another cool feature, it's got these high lift jack points here that allow you to raise and lower the front or the rear of the vehicle independently. And when you're going off-road and you might need to change a tire, perfect for that. This version has the bolt-on step, but we also have another version which is just the rail by itself. So it keeps it nice and tight to the vehicle to protect the vehicle, but you don't have the step. Personally, my favorite is the version with the step. It protects the side of the vehicle. Like I said, make sure you get yours to protect your nice Grand Cherokee when you're going off-road.
So this Overland rides on air suspension, which is nice and cushy, travels quite well off-road and on-road. Now, we needed to get a little extra height to fit the larger tires on, so Off-Road Animal made some adjustable links for the suspension to basically fool the sensors to think that you're an Off-Road 1 all the time. Now, the problem with riding an Off-Road 1 all the time is the shocks like to knock a lot and cause a lot of commotion. You can hear it inside the vehicle. It's a little off-putting. So Off-Road Animal has made some new rear shock lowering brackets. These brackets lower the rear shock by 30 millimeters to match the raisin height of 30 millimeters from the links. That way you're not going to get the rear shocks knocking and causing commotion inside the car. We're still working on something for the front, likely a strut top spacer. Now the raised height here allows us to run a larger tire. So we've got some Goodyear Duratrax on this vehicle and its size is 275-6518, which here in Australia is the max legal size you can fit on a Grand Cherokee. And I'd actually recommend that's the max you should put on a vehicle with air suspension, unless you want to do a lot of cutting and trimming. Now these tires are fitted onto ultra black wheels, model 107, 18 by nine with a plus 10 offset. That offset sticks the tires out enough to give it a nice aggressive look, but it will stick outside of the factory guards or flares. So we put on some bushwhacker flares here. Now we've color matched these to sit nicely on the vehicle and give it that seamless look, that OE sort of look. We've also had to modify the flares just to suit the off-road animal bumpers. So just a quick trim on the edge there with a bit of pinch weld because the off-road animal bumpers are designed to work with the factory flare. So normally you're gonna be fine with that. You don't have to modify your flares. If you're running bushwhacker flares, you will have to modify it. Now that rounds out this wheel and tire package and the flares gives us that height that we want with the suspension. That real aggressive look that we wanted on this Grand Cherokee is achieved mainly from those there as well as the other off-road animal products. And finally, we put on a Murchison product snorkel, great for those high country river crossings. Okay, all you guys out there that like overlanding touring are really going to get excited about this one here. As you can see, we fitted the animal roof rack here, loaded up with tons of accessories. You can accessorize any which way you like. As you can see with ours, we've got the awning off to the side, nice shaded area whenever you need it, shovel on the other side. We got the spare tire up there. We got the storage box with our chainsaw in it, as well as the max tracks up the front. The square holes in the top of the rack allow you to really accessorize it any which way you want. So a lot of different accessories that Offered Animal Producers can go on there, or even other companies' accessories can mount on this roof rack. That's the cool thing about it. What I really like about this roof rack is its ability to take a load to take weight. So your factory Jeep roof is rated to 68 kilos, which is really not that much. This one doubles the load. The way we do that is the mounting system. So we have two steel rails either side of the vehicle that use all six buttons on either side. So 12 in total to take the load of the roof. That way you're not just working on one or two like the factory system, you're using all 12. So that way in essence, you're not gonna damage your roof like competitors can and repairing your roof is a serious, serious hassle. So make sure you get a roof rack that's gonna at least double your loading of your roof. Also can be sold separately are the steel roof rails that give it that strength. Now our rack, which includes the steel rails, is full aluminum, nice and lightweight, easy to bolt together. It's a really great feature, especially with a wind deflector on there to keep the noise down while you're traveling. Including the wind deflector, this all aluminum roof rack is nice and light and weighs just over 20 kilos. And it's also really easy to install and requires no special tools. That pretty much rounds out a roof rack here. And in fact, the entire build. So this WK2, fully customized by Off-Road Animal, 
These are gonna be off the shelf parts for you to customize your Grand Cherokee, for you to get out there and enjoy the tracks in comfort and style. Because not only will you be out there enjoying the features and the benefits of our products, but you'll be enjoying the good looks of it. And people are gonna be looking at your car going, that looks great, I love it. Yeah.